can't hear what you're saying at all. What? Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. All right, good. Okay, we are, uh, we're good to go. Do you have any questions before we start? I think we're all good. No, all right. I'm assuming you have the tweet ready. I don't, but I'll have it ready. All right. All right. And if I did this right, then everything should work fine. Maybe. Let's find out. With a push of this button. You can't hear me? All right, cool. No, 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 it's working. It's, it's intended. Yeah, no, I can hear you fine. Oh, that's good. I switched off to push to talk. We'll see how this works today. Oh, God. All right. Uh, no, I have, I have buttons that instantly mute things. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. All right, let's... Okay. Uh,
I'm sad. No one will hear the new intro. It makes me sad. Uh, they'll hear it recorded. All right. Today is November 30th, 2018. This is episode 101 of Maelstrom Radio. How did that happen? Type real quick? I can still hear you. No, no, you're fine. I got it. <laughs> All right. All right, let's try that again. Today is November 30th, 2018. This is episode 101 of Maelstrom Radio. Maelstrom Radio. Your hosts, Flattis and Shinker. Welcome, everybody, to Maelstrom Radio. My name is Flattis. With me, as always, this host has put up with me with 101 episodes into a new version of Maelstrom Radio. It's Shin. No, yeah, nothing. I, sorry, I, I was still setting up stuff. All right, well, yeah. I, I was double hearing you for a bit. That was a little bit odd. Oh, did you have stream open? I had straight him up. Okay. Well, welcome everybody to Maelstrom Radio. Uh, this is going to be new. So we're going to jump into the news. It's going to be slightly different. So just bear with us as we get through it. Uh, the FTC agrees to investigate loot boxes. Uh, this is a big change in now what will be the first time in America that's been happening in Europe so far uh, that the Americans are going to start looking at the, uh, loot boxes gambling. And, uh, I, I'm kind of interested to see how this goes because t- take them or leave them. Loot boxes are here and they make a amount of money, a large amount of money for gamers and companies and all sorts of things. So it is, uh, very interesting to see that the, the, uh, FTC is going to step in. So, uh, we'll see how this plays out and see how companies like EA, Blizzard, and the sort will uh, be affected if they choose to do anything. Uh, Bioware boss teases Mass Effect and Dragon Age. Uh, this is pretty interesting. Uh, he wrote a uh, letter um, about Anthem coming out, uh, and he also made teases that uh, something big was being planned with Mass Effect. Uh, I think it's a Mass Effect uh, cause the new hotness right now is doing like remasters of things. And I think a, a mass effect one through three remaster would probably be something that they would do, uh, to kind of rekindle the love for the mass effect series, especially after the last, uh, mass effect game that came out Andromeda. Uh, so that might be something we hear. Also, they tease dragon age. I'm going to go with a mobile game. You're going to oh, don't do that. Nope, that's a bit, that based on what we've seen in the past, I'm pretty sure they're going to go for a mobile. If you have phones, let us know. They're not Blizzard. Oh no, that's true. They'll also allow you to play on a tablet. That, hey, 
Uh, so they also teased some Dragon Age news, and I'm a little excited about that because I like a Dragon Age. I haven't played, in, I haven't, like, I started a little bit of Inquisition, and I have Inquisition, and maybe I'll stream Inquisition, maybe a little bit more on that later. Uh, Fallout 76 players are getting refunds despite no refund policy. If you've been paying attention to the news, Fallout 76 is a mess. <laughs> it's a hot mess, and, uh, and I don't, I, I couldn't tell you what's going on right now. Um, a, Apparently, there's people getting refunds. They're not supposed to be giving refunds out because they're. I have a strict no refund policy. Uh, if you bought that game, I I feel for you, uh, and I hope that you are one of the folks that got a refund. The game was released in pretty much in an alpha state, and uh, it's it's no bueno. And and really, Bethesda, you really need to make good on that. Uh, have you have you been keeping up with Fall? I, you've you know what? Maybe don't don't keep up with Fallout seventy six. I I've seen some of the issues with Fallout seventy six, and I am fully happy to stay far away. From it. it is it's no bueno. It is no bueno on that side. Amazon adds compatibility checker for PC parts. Uh, this is great. I like this. I I, I kind of dig that we don't have to go to, like to PC part picker to see check compatibility. Like if we're buying stuff on Amazon. Now the question is, does it work? I still like PC part picker in order to uh, like be able to tell from different places that are not Amazon because Amazon's not necessarily the best place for most. For the cheapest. Uh, definitely the cheapest. Because their PC part picker at least lets you browse from other places and tells you, hey, you're going to get the cheapest RAM from this website. Uh, Kane Thorbreaker in chat real quick. The game was released way too many bugs. Somebody even has a class action lawsuit against them from the amount of bugs in the game. Uh, and Feeny Lee said, I heard of that people that bought a physical copy got a cardboard disc for a download. They got a refund. Sean is uh, requesting some more porn, so I, ha I have a Moogle for him. Okay. Right. Sean's into more <laughs> what are What's Moogle porn called? No one send that to us. Mm. Yeah. Please, yeah, no, please nobody send that to us. Moogle prawn. No, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Anthem Alpha Test is starting. Uh, so you have from now, and I believe it's until the 3rd of December, to, to get signed up. And uh, this will get you the uh, into the alpha testing of Anthem. This is uh, super interesting and uh, I'm actually already signed up. So I will, I, I kind of, I, I, I'm kind of like in lukewarm water with that Anthem. Like I'm not interested, but I'm willing to give it an alpha test and see how it is. Or even if I get into beta, I'm kind of interested. If I could just play around with it a little bit and see how the game is, I, uh, I'd probably be into it, but it just depends. I, I, I know if it's got a, it might have a great crafting system. <laughs> I, it is a pretty intensive system. Uh, the alpha is going to run from December 8th to 9th, requires 64-bit Windows 10 uh, Core i5. Uh, so CPU is not too, too much, but 8 gig of RAM and at least a 970 uh, and 60 gigs of space. So Ooh. not small. Ooh. I will probably be busy that weekend already, so I will not sign up. Uh, I, I'm going to try to sign up and see if I can get in there and shake around. Uh, Xbox gaming revenue exceeds 10 billion for 2018 fiscal year. Uh, that is pretty damn good. And I wonder if it has to do with anything, uh, with Microsoft's, uh, uh, current deal they have with getting an Xbox where you can pay it over time through, uh, they, they partnered up with Dell and it's, uh, a, uh, if you're shaking your head, no, <laughs> I, I'm guessing not hardware sales are never that a nope. huge chunk you no, no, I, no i'm no. guessing it's more around that uh the service they released with the whole uh being able to stream games and play them yes but did you know that when you got that console even though you can pay it you have like 36 months to pay it off but you got that as well added to it for two years for included and and xbox live included with that so i wonder if that had anything to do like it's a great deal if you're only paying it's like 25 bucks a month for the xbox one s and you get to choose any of the Xbox One S's and you get one with the game. And it's not, honestly, it's not really that bad of a deal if you want to, like, get a console and have, just have the ability to pay it off over time. I know that there's also rumors that they're going to release another couple consoles, I believe, next year, which are slimmed down versions and cheaper of the Xbox. 
yeah they, they might be dropping the uh the disk drive and just doing like full yeah. digital that'd be interesting to see so we'll see we'll see, we'll see. i mean it, it'd be promising because how like at least in a lot of the like first world countries like the u.s and such a lot of people just rely on streaming and such uh so for but for other countries with data caps and such it might not be such a great idea for like example australia that has tight data caps and not great download yeah so we'll see how it kind of plays out yeah i mean there's data caps in the u.s and it sucks <laughs> so yeesh uh so let's we're gonna get into our uh community news uh so the community is really about us it's about maelstrom radio and uh and, and the new maelstrom radio so we're going to describe what that is what that entails and and how it affects you the listener especially the final fantasy 14 crowd if you've been with us for 100 episodes and you're probably like hey where's the final fantasy 14 news let us explain so it's about time we told you what this all is quick spoiler the final oh. fantasy 14 news is in about five to ten minutes that is true just just so that you're aware and not held in li- continue yeah so it's about time we told you i'm glad that you cut me off like it's like we're gonna tell you what this all is and all of a sudden you're like hold on <laughs> all right it's about time we told you what this is uh it's a gaming podcast with a twist uh the core of the show now is you um we want to talk to all the amazing gamers out there that are doing amazing things in the games that they play um, a lot of podcasts out there just talk about those games and they never talk about the people doing the cool shit in those games. Um, we want to talk to the RPers in the Dragon Age community, the cosplayers in World of Warcraft. We want to talk to the people building Minecraft worlds, like one scales of like Hobbiton or whatever the case is. We want to talk to you. So we're opening up Maelstrom Radio to you all. Th- does that mean we're not going to talk about Final Fantasy XIV anymore? Except no. Sean. <laughs> Sean's not allowed on the show. Uh, <laughs> we we want to talk with everyone, and that's including Final Fantasy fourteen. If there's folks doing amazing stuff in Final Fantasy fourteen, like A Stage Reborn or Lucky Sparrow, we still want to talk to them. We just want to talk to more people. We've, we learned doing this show that our best content was talking to the people on Balmon, talking to the RP people on, on Gilgamesh. And talking to other players and talking to A Stage Reborn and The Crucible. And those were our best shows. Now we can just open it up. and (laughs) Not to be exclusionary, but we also had other really great shows, such as talking to community writers uh, slash eventual podcast producers. And uh, also with other members outside of the community, such as Too Mellow. Yes. That was, still is one of our best episodes that we've, and speaking of that, this gives us the opportunity to invite Tumelo back on and invite other creators of content. Not the- that before we would have prevented us from doing so. I- it wouldn't have. But it was hard to sell him on a Final Fantasy fourteen podcast. It's like, well, you did Final Fantasy remixes. <laughs> so uh, now we can bring him on. And he's working on music for a new video game. And it'd be interesting for us to talk to him about that and maybe get one of the devs on about that. Maybe. I like I like I like old school fighters. <laughs> Wink. Um nope. Uh but it Show also me those RPGs. I, I, he's he's got some he's got some stuff in the works. Uh the the amazing part about this is that Shin and I know a lot of people in a lot of other communities outside of Final Fantasy fourteen and we've always wanted to have them on the show and it's we could never find a way to get them on the show and it never prevented us from having them on the show it just we were we felt like we were like kind of put ourselves in a box (laughs) and we kind of just kicked the box open (laughs) um so why not a name change or a rebrand we tried and it's hard names are hard (laughs) we tried for trust me you do not want to hear any of the names that we came up Listen, mostly because we didn't really come up with a whole lot of them, and a lot of them were really terrible. No, some of them were really good. I like New Game Plus. We couldn't have it though. Somebody had it. Okay, the names that we came up with that were good were unusable. Yes, we find I, out that people yeah. also have the same great ideas for video game names. New Game uh, Plus would have been perfect after Fan Fest. Yeah. So, 
we uh, we leaned hard into the Maelstrom Radio. Uh, our all our new artwork was created by uh, Mary Larkins, uh, which we you will hear in the uh, outro. Uh, you can find her at the the Mary Lark dot com. Uh, we went with a more professional look with a punk slash 80s feel and a little sci-fi mixed in for good measure with the radio tower shooting off lightning bolts and some radio waves. Uh, we did that for a reason. Um, we were described by some of you listeners as the most punk rock podcast out there. And Shin's like, I don't think we were punk rock. And that's the most punk rock thing you can say. So we we did it. We added some grunge. We, we no, no. made it. We made a symbol that would look dope on a leather jacket. We wanted. I'm down you. with the grunge. I'm less. I'm still not sure about the whole punk rock. Wait, rock, not. okay, I can understand. I'm. I'm still not seeing the punk. Uh, we do things our way. We don't play by the rules. Fuck authority. I mean, now you're getting into more like anarchism, which is definitely also not really. I gotta give you just some punk to listen to. I think you're kind of missing the mark. I'm not saying that one doesn't imply the other or doesn't involve the other. That does not make it punk. Are you saying you're more punk than me? Because <laughs> that's from no effects. Anyway, so we went with this look. Uh, that look means that, yeah, we can start doing things like, and, and there was issues with our previous art that we couldn't use it. We the, People asked for shirts. Well, now we can do that. We can put things on, on fabric and, and you can buy them. Uh, and it will look good. It will look Not good. that our other stuff wouldn't have looked good, but now it looks better. Yes, I don't know. I like our old art was our old art. We've outgrown it. Mm-hmm. This is a little bit more nice. This is professional. I, I yeah, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it would be good to have this as a patch on the shirt. Yeah, it works. It works. Uh, Scarlet and Chat, it's a good logo for sure. It's, uh, can't throw it, you're fucking welcome, Flats. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> so aggressive in chat. Uh, it's a I little the, cleaner, unlike the podcast. Yeah, and also I can explain a little bit. For, I, I mean, I'm not going to go into too much. So I don't want to waste too much time. This, this episode is meant to be short. A lot of this was created based on like years of podcasting and things. This is all modular. Like our new layout is modular. I can move every piece of this almost except for the background of the bar below. Like I can move sh- the boxes and everything. It makes it so much easier for me to do the show now. <laughs> you can tell because I'm not quite right in my box. I got to figure that part out. I, there's a way to like make things match. We got to sort it out. We yeah, there's but I, I gotta look into it. I know there's a way to make sure things like clean up and match in the boxes. So uh we will we will fix those little things and they will be right. Uh so does this mean your former guests and friends won't be back on the show? Not at all. Yes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you can't say that. That's wait, who asked that? That nobody. That's what it says right there on the notes. Oh, I was wondering who asked. Nobody asked that. It says no. It says no at all. We we just it says no. Yeah, it says no. Uh, not at all. We, we we get to discuss more with them uh, more than ever before. They could still be on the show and discuss happenings in the Final Fantasy XIV world uh, world as well. They just have the option now to talk about other things they're playing. Uh, a lot of them play other games, and uh, it's going to be great to be able to talk to them about that. So it's still expect to hear from Rule Go Round and The Crucible and Aetherflow Media and everybody else we had on the show prior. We want them to be back. Um, we just were sharing a different version of the show. Particularly, you're probably going to hear more from Dylan. Yes. That as well. Uh, Dylan. Spoilers. Yeah, Dylan. Dylan's working on something. <laughs> Dylan's working on a lot of things. Yeah. All so, of them are why we're actually still here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, I will also explain uh, from for the remainder of the year, Maelstrom Radio will be bi-weekly. That's just for the remainder of the year. That's for two reasons. One, it's the end of the year. That's tough for my job and Shin's job. And Shin's also going away <laughs> as well to, to on vacation to go visit people. 
Uh, so he, uh, it's easier for us, but does that mean we won't have content next Friday? No, I, I still have a, uh, a sweet podcast we did live from the, uh, uh, you know, esports arena. Uh, I will be dropping, oh, no. oh yeah, I will be dropping that in the off week as a bonus episode. Uh, also fun fact, uh, Shin and I will be uh, streaming games, uh, in the off weeks. So, uh, you're here next Friday, correct? And if I'm, if I'm correct about that, Dark Souls? Question mark? Uh, you are correct. We'll figure out what we're actually going to stream later. All right. So it might be it might be Dark Souls. Maybe not. He picks. I'm going to let him pick. If it's Dark Souls, I'd show up for that because it's probably going to be. We're going to die. You know, people just invade your games, right? <laughs> they they find you on yes. Twitch. Okay. Just point it out there. It's you mentioned this before. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll figure out what we want to stream going forward. Uh, try to figure out some stuff. We are definitely going to have some technical issues going. Like, uh, we'll figure out how we do all of this. This, yeah. this. Uh, there's also going to be some new stuff uh, coming as well, like YouTube, uh, taking stuff that we do on Twitch and putting up on you, like clips from like Dark Souls series and stuff like that going up. We want to expand outward. I mean. Sorry, I just thought of it, but we have Smash next week too. Uh, okay. We we both have switches. We can both stream. Yeah. So it is a possibility that I'm gonna falcon punch your ass out of an arena. You bet your ass. If you can hit me. Get that. All right. Damn, that sounds like a challenge already. So, uh, this is what I'm gonna ask of you, and and I I I don't ask a whole lot, but this is what I'm gonna ask of you. Uh share us share us with everybody and final fantasy 14 players non-final fantasy 14 players D D players it doesn't matter what type of game it doesn't matter if it's a video game share us with people we want to talk to them especially if they're doing something amazing if you know a group of people doing something cool or fighting for something or or trying to share something in a game let them know about us get in them get them in touch with us we want to talk i'm to gonna them. Cut in quickly before we hit our main talking point as well. And I think Grim is in the audience. Uh, send us a message afterwards. I have any ideas. Okay. For next year. All right. Feeny Lee, Feeny Lee, Swiggity, sw- Swiggity, Swiggity, Swiggity. I think someone's coming for the boogity. <laughs> I don't know what the boogie is. All right, so uh, we are going to talk about Final Fantasy XIV. We were both at FanFest. We were there. We were in the the press area. It's nothing special, honestly. We were off to the side. We had a we were in the press area for like the keynote, and then that was about the about the keynote. Uh, also, there was a camera boom in our way, so getting pictures was fun. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so we're gonna give you a short fan fest recap, even though we did talk about. Now I will say we did talk about uh, Shadowbringers and our theories at this esports arena. So when I release that, this is gonna be a little bit different. We're just gonna do a recap and talk a little bit about the stuff. So first up, uh, Shadowbringers. Shin, what did you think of the the uh, teaser, the release trailer, the the uh, the hot derplander? I'm pretty sure that's not his name, but is it not? Uh... Is it- the trailer was, was pretty interesting. I, I like the fact that it got a little bit darker, a little bit grittier than we've seen so far. It kind of got back to even like Heaven's Word level of stuff, but a little bit more. Like Heaven's Word was it, not dark per se, but it, it was a little bit not as bright as, say, a Realm Reap uh, or even uh, Stormblood here. So it was nice to see it get a little bit darker, a little bit grittier. Uh, a little bit more realistic in in terms of the animation definitely got stepped up a level again. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they kind of bring all of this story together and what they kind of do. I've heard lots of interesting fan theories, thoughts, opinions, uh, but really we won't know until uh, we get to four four or uh, sorry uh, four point five and uh, beyond. Uh, yeah, no, I I agree. It's. Uh, it- we definitely are seeing a hopefully a darker shift uh we kind of gave our thoughts about like the theories and I don't, we don't want to ruin our theories but it is great to see that th- hopefully this expansion is a darker expansion a darker storyline um i think it's needed uh especially now i feel like we've been 
I mean, it's been way too much happy go fun. <laughs> like, not to not to say that the story's been bad. Just it's just been a lot of like we did it, friends, and uh, I feel like a little a little strife is needed. Uh, not cloud strife though. Let's. <laughs> Uh, Blue Mage uh, was announced at the uh, the 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 fan fest, uh, and I I'm kind of I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited to play Blue Mage. I want that pimp game. Mm, I, I think it's interesting. I don't know if I'd necessarily consider it a new class so much as a new system, kind new of class. like uh, yeah. Pals of the Dead was added or Eureka. It's not really something that seems to be meant to integrate with the rest of the games in the class system that we have, but I think it's interesting that they took on this whole limited job aspect. And it's going to be interesting to see how they evolve that, especially with a few other classes mentioned or rumored with like Beastmaster, et cetera, where it doesn't necessarily fit into the 14 mold, but bringing on this new idea of a limited class still lets them... Uh, add to the game and bring these unique classes to fi from final fantasy uh into uh, the world without actually affecting it as much yeah and it also gives uh it, it, it it's interesting to see how it's going to breathe life back into content that was probably previously thought to be dead um unless you're in a link shell that's super like about hunts and fate um especially how the blue mage works so i'm interested to see how how uh, a realm reborn and uh like the life blood in those in that open world content gets uh gets moving again with blue mages it's gonna be a lot of blue mage parties <laughs> part of blue it mage. too is going to be a little bit interesting with combining the blue mage stuff and going back to that old content with the new game plus stuff they announced which is also going back and part of it's kind of worrisome just they're having a lot of emphasis on replaying old content which from one aspect is really good but on the other hand it kind of confusing like are, are they just admitting that there's not enough content for people to do and you have to go and replay it all sometimes that's good sometimes it's not so we'll kind of see how it all plans out. yeah uh can't wait for the blue mage train <laughs> can't wait chug a chug a blue blue mm. i'm sorry i apologize about that uh no, you don't. yeah a little no i know uh cross roll is coming to the game uh within your own data center but it is coming uh and they're going to start testing it in 4.5 uh and to, to have it ready for the expansion still not sure if it's going to be 4.5 a or 4.5 b though which is early january versus late i would my I would guess think, is late march i would think late as well uh i i'm happy that they're not settling and saying hey listen it's going to be out at exactly this point but it is going to happen uh it's just kind of crappy that balmung is now moving off our data center over to new but part of the reason why we moved to gogamesh is like oh we have friends on balmung and i was like oh our friends are friends are going away <laughs> there they go all of our friends so uh hey uh I mean, that, that was kind of known like we know balmung would have had to get split up from everyone Oh no, we knew that was gonna like if they were gonna split something, we 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 called it on the show. Balmung Balmung will be moved, and it did. It was moved. So uh, bye, Balmung. See you later, Mateus. Uh oh, you know what I forgot to talk about? Uh, Viera, bunnies are coming. Got, got anything on that? We never got a confirmation for that. Just a strong, strong rumor and a T-shirt around. No, we're getting bikers. <laughs> For an early Davidson I, I mean, we we could be getting uh, the Beastmaster. <sighs> Depending on how much they want to troll, I wouldn't be surprised if they left VR. Uh, yeah, VR I, for. Uh, that that'd be funny if they doubled down on on that shirt. It was like, oh, it's VR Beastmasters. <laughs> Yeah, they'll, they'll announce Beastmaster in Tokyo in a month, and then they'll do Viera. The th yeah. I like it. Uh, so, uh, our opinions on the show and the convention. So, what did you think of the uh, fan fest compared to like our previous fan fest? So. Uh, I think this one was a little bit crazier in terms of what we were trying to do. There was a lot more going on. We were trying to do a lot more things, so there was a lot less time to do things in. Uh, which made it a little bit more hectic. Uh, 
I thought overall the, the fan fest ran a lot better than the previous one. The lines were great. Uh, even sign up registration merch, all of that ran really, really smoothly after the initial like half an hour, maybe. Uh, even though the lines for like all the events and everything, everything went smoothly. There was never anything too long. Uh, I think it was overall, overall run very, very well. Uh, you know, I, I completely, I just, I agree with your sentiment on it. It was, it, it was, there, there was no merch line, honestly. Uh, they, they handled merch beautifully. The, the registration line was done really well. They had, uh, for the safety of all of the guests there, they had metal detectors and those lines hustled. They did not, there I don't think I, I waited, I I don't think I waited longer than like maybe two minutes in a, in a in line, if that like, and it's only because they like, you were trying to shuffle, like to tell, like put your stuff in the backpack and close it really quick. Uh, so they did a really great job and I'm glad it was in a convention center and I felt there was enough space for everything. Like they just did a, just an amazing job. So kudos to SC on that. Um, and it was a good show. It was a really good show. And, uh, I think the most important thing uh, of it all is that we got to see a lot of uh, folks that we get to talk to on the show. Uh, people came up, introduced themselves, and 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 said hi to us. And it was freaking crazy that we got to sit down in an esports arena and with like high tech mics and cameras and and talk about this game. Um, and uh, so, it, it, what a what a crazy experience it all was. And uh, like thanks. To everybody that hung out with us at the airbnb and and uh, we'll, we'll definitely have to do a little bit of a wrap-up maybe we can have like a, a little mini show or uh something with the recorded session from fan fest as well yeah of course all right well that's it uh shin did you have anything like else to say to everybody about like this and what this is and the future of this Mm, not particularly uh, i do want to say if you have any ideas questions comments concerns thoughts of what we should do or what we could cover please feel free to reach out. uh we're very very receptive of all the different ideas and we'd love to hear what you want to see from the uh, on that note as well if you have any games or anything you want us to stream or you think that there are co-op things that would be really hilarious to watch like portal 2 or uh, dark souls Forgot the name for a second. Uh, let us know as well, and uh, we'll see if we can add it to our back. Hello. Okay, I don't have an Xbox. Not not doing that. <laughs> oh, okay. Not. He says this now. <laughs> I have a PS4. I have a Switch. I have a PC. Mm -hmm. Don't don't need another system that I'm not going to use. All of a sudden, Shin's like, I got a fucking Xbox. <laughs> you bet you that little tiny Xbox, if it's cheap enough, you're like, yeah, fuck it. I can if they do the whole rumored thing where uh, they allow crossplay from Xbox onto PC, so you can actually play Xbox games on your PC, I would get it for. They do that. Mm. They do. They have it. It's not rumored. Well, we'll no, no, no. I meant like without the Xbox. Oh. Not mirror player. Like actually porting the entire Xbox library to play on PC. Ooh. I know that if you buy a game digitally, you get it also on your PC. They do that as yeah. well. Which is so nice we'll stuff. we'll we'll investigate that sort of stuff. Would be so yeah. If you have anything like that, uh, we can go. For it. Yeah, uh, I have. I really have nothing else I, other than please, like I said before, share us and and if you know somebody doing something amazing and fighting for something right, like anything, just just send them our way. We want to talk to them. Honestly, we do. Uh, so you can find us here weekly. Well, for now, until the end of the year, it's going to be bi-weekly here at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard. That's 9.30 Eastern. Uh, it's going to go back to normal after the new year, we promise. Uh, our, our, re our, our show is recorded. You can also pick it up on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. Uh, please give us a like and uh, all the all the things on the stitchers and the googles and the itunes please leave us reviews on i please please leave us review on itunes listen you don't understand how much that helps like i can't stress that enough that's how people find us if you don't like give us reviews and like stars and ratings on itunes we kind of just float into the aether and nobody knows we exist but we need you to do this please please uh you can find us at maelstromradio.com that's our website you can find all our shows there uh maybe in the future some blogs if we get somebody to start writing things uh our sh our email address is at show at maelstromradio.com send us the emails if you want to be a part of this and or just have questions uh of course our uh, discord is on our website 
So if you want to join our Discord server, the actually there's been a lot of chatting recently, especially since like Fan Fest, like Final Final Fantasy talk, uh, gaming chat, Guild Wars, a bunch of stuff has been going on there. Uh, you can find us on Twitter.com. That's forward slash. Uh, that's Twitter.com forward slash Maelstrom underscore radio, or just at Maelstrom underscore radio. You can find us on Facebook.com. That's forward slash Maelstrom radio, and of course you can find us here on Twitch.tv forward slash Maelstrom radio. Thank you so much, um, Shin. Did you? Want to want to say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye. Good night. See you tomorrow. We'll hold, need a new thing from till she swallows all. I know. I gotta figure something out. I, I lost my thing. I can't tell people to see swallows all anymore. What am I gonna do? Uh. Till next time. Oh jeez. Anyway. Let's uh let's do one of these. Let's see if this button works. It did work. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining us for episode 101. I'm so sorry it was shorter than normal, and I'm so sorry that we're gonna be like going by weekly, but it I promise it's for our sakes uh, as we try to fix we want to make this right for the new year. So we're gonna f- fix things, tweak it before the end of the year so that 2019, the th- year three of Maelstrom Radio. It's coming out swinging, and we want to do that for you. So with that, we want to make sure that things are done right. Um, with that being said, I don't have anything to swallow, so <laughs> keep gaming. Mills.